Hey guys, what's up? I really pray that everybody is doing well during this season and time that we are in. I wanted to just come and show you a quick video on how to just basically extend the hair for your box braids when your client has extremely short hair. My client in this video, her hair was recently cut. Um, it was actually like trimmed per se um, due to some breakage that she had because of getting a weave done. So I almost was going to leave the back undone and then I remembered um, this tip that I saw on Instagram. So I went ahead and used the rubber band just like I did on the rest of the style and what I'm going to do is I am going to crochet a piece of hair right underneath that rubber band and what this piece of hair is going to do is it's going to play as an anchor because I want to ensure that these braids in the back are going to stay just as nicely as the rest of the braids on her hair. So I went ahead and I crocheted that piece through and instead of her natural hair alone being what I'm going to anchor the hair to, I am actually going to use the piece that we just crocheted through. And when it comes to the braiding, there's nothing differently that I'm going to do. As you can see, I just separated my hair just the way I normally would. And instead of using her natural hair, I'm going to use that piece of hair that we crocheted in as an anchor so that I can get a consistent and secure braid just like the rest of them. The hair that I used for the anchor braid uh, was brown, was it like a dark brown, and it's not very visible at all, but I am going to do my best and tuck it the best that I can because it just makes the braid look even neater when it's all one color from start to finish. So if you notice, I am trying to go ahead and make sure that the brown is behind the black hair. I did leave the video in real time because I really just wanted you guys to be able to see exactly what I am doing and if you happen to run into this issue where you know maybe your client is growing out a taper or maybe um, you know they just had some breakage as as my client did from you know um, just the previous style that maybe they had gotten done you know there's ways to work around uh, these type of issues. So this is what I just decided to try uh, on this particular day. And I hope that this is something that you can find valuable and that you can use as a resource as well if you find yourself in the same predicament. So again, I just wanted to let you all know that I am praying for all of us small business owners and um, those who work in salons and those who do hair um, and just anyone who has been affected by this time the shutdowns and the mandates and things like that I'm sure you all know that um, being a, a stylist you know a time like this can really take its effect but you know just keep the faith stay positive find ways to you know um, keep building your brand if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. And as always, God bless.